And opposition leader Tim Nichols has just touched down in Harvey Bay to put some time into an LNP seat where there's strong One Nation support. The ends, this ends an action-packed day where protesters got too close for comfort. Well, Mr Nichols arrived with his deputy a short time ago to put some time into a seat that's tipped to have strong competition from One Nation. All this on an action-packed day when protesters got a little too close for comfort. Tim Nichols was hoping to draw attention to the person not attending this morning's debate. Instead, his stunt was upstaged by another. Security, please. Security. Four anti-Adani protesters evading security checks by hiding for hours under a platform at the back of the room and making it on stage. All I can say is how rude. How rude can they be? No one was putting anyone's safety at risk today. It was non-violent, direct action. They were pretty hot and smelly after hiding for three hours. The protesters are at odds with the Townsville audience who wanted to show their support for the Carmichael mine amid reports Adani is close to securing a loan from China. We desperately need that Carmichael mine and, and that's been our position forever. In a region tipped to swing heavily to One Nation, Tim Nichols worked to woo North Queensland votes. I'll go back to Clayfield and I will stand up for jobs in North Queensland. Townsville is very dear to our hearts. By lunchtime, the LNP campaign was at a construction site in Cairns. The definition of a flying visit on the ground for just over an hour. We believe in far North Queensland. But no new policy announcements. We've got some more to be made. With a promised release of costings tomorrow, they'll only have Friday left to make them. Katrina Blowers, 7 News.